Welcome in. What's your name? My name is Cliff. Cliff, how old are you? I'm 31 years old. And what do you do? I'm a project manager for a construction company based in Las Vegas. Nice. Um, what are some things that you do for fun? Um, I live an active lifestyle. I enjoy cycling. I travel internationally. Um, I love wine tasting. And I'm a certified scuba diver. Okay. Wow, All you right. love wine tasting. Nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, I look for a woman that's family-oriented, goal-oriented, someone that's positive and uplifting, um, someone that's uh, adventurous and open to exploring. I look for a woman that's ambitious, that can match my hustle. Okay. Now, what are some deal-breakers? Some deal-breakers for me, a woman that lacks communication, a woman that's not positive, uplifting, you know, negative energy, bad vibes, um, a woman that don't have no goals, you know, nothing set for themselves. Okay. All right, cool. All right, so we do not have any pop balloons. So what that means is I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Okay. Okay, we did get a pop balloon, but we're, we're going to continue with what I had in, right. in mind. <laughs> so there are quite a few ladies up here, so I'm going to have you pop two balloons. Okay. Based off of what you're seeing, you know, you haven't got to hear from them yet, so it's going to strictly just be off of what you're seeing, what's not really your type, whatever it is. Pop those two, and then we'll see what you end up popping. Okay. Okay. She be, you're a beautiful woman. Okay. I just, you know, I have to get at the pick too. All right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age? I'm Kay. I'm 27. Okay. And Kay, why was she your don't name look 27, man. Um, it was a lot. She looks 35. I like his hair okay. for sure. It's nice. <laughs> okay. And then why do we end up popping hers? Um, no, she's you're beautiful, thank gorgeous. You. I appreciate just that. Just gorgeous. You know, initially first two. That's you know, out the gate. That's how I feel like I needed to pop. You know. And then we did get why a pop looking balloon guilty, over here. Man. Name and age and why you ended up popping. Hello, my name is Kia. I'm 29. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice so to meet guilty. you as well. What's your name again? It's Cliff. Cliff, nice to meet you. Um, I just scanned the room a little bit. I saw that there were several other women still interested in had their balloons um, unpopped, and I just wanted you to maximize your opportunities. I, I knew I wasn't initially attracted off the bat. so. But, yeah, you seem well-spoken and sweet and kind, so, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. All right. And now she's someone that's your type? She looked gorgeous. Yes. She's definitely gorgeous. Thank you. Definitely beautiful. I appreciate that. And we did get a pop back here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kamina. I'm 27. It's just that you low-key look like one of my cousin's best friend's baby daddy. It's <laughs> That's a long <laughs> list. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, uh, he kind of looks like yeah. <laughs> I tried holding on, but it was just, no. <laughs> but you're very handsome, though. Thank you. You're mm -hmm. beautiful, too. <laughs> All right. Cool. Right. Thank you. Let's go back. So we do have four remaining ladies. Go she ahead and ask them a question, first. help you narrow it down. Okay, what's your favorite uh, vacation destination and why? Mm. All right, let's start here. Name and age and what's your favorite oh, he's destination? Trying to go, he's trying to My go name is Ish, I'm 28. Anywhere outside of the country where it's like warm, a beach, somewhere you can relax, kind of forget everything that you have going on in life, just like an escape. Like if I'm going on a vacation, I don't want to go to like Canada or somewhere like it feels like the same environment that I'm in now. I feel you because it's close. Exactly. I got you. Mm -hmm. Your name and age and what's your favorite vacation destination? Hey, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old and I would have to say the beach. Um, I'm, I love like anything with like large bodies of water and I just love sunsets like if you anybody knows me like yeah. i'm a, a definitely a fan i have a million pictures of sunsets <laughs> in my phone um so anytime i go to the beach like i get up really early to like watch the sunrise yeah. like get a cup of coffee and like just go chill it's like really peaceful and just like seeing like what god created it just like yeah <laughs> that's, that's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> name, age, and what's your favorite vacation destination? My name is Renee. I'm 25. So far, my favorite destination would be um, Cartagena, Colombia, because I was able to dive anywhere tropical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything specific? Um, I would say, sorry, uh, Greece or Italy. Greece or I've Italy? I've never been. Okay. Yeah. That's wonderful. Italy is nice, too. I've been. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. right. Thank you, ladies. Let's it's head on tropical. back. So it is time to pop a balloon. I'll just have you pop one balloon. Okay, one balloon. Yes, sir. Ah oh, man. Why are you making that noise? He's, He's walking this way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so why did you have your balloon unpopped? That noise is um, crazy. I like your energy. Very just calm, cool, collected. Um, yeah. 
That's pretty much it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so why did we end up popping hers? Oh, oh, one, I had to, you know, choose one. I had, you know, slim picking. So, but hair is very gorgeous. I like your hair. It's Thank very gorgeous. You. But, you know, I had to narrow it down to, you know, who I want, you okay. know, down to my final three. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> uh, he ain't right. nothing out of Let's mind. ask our remaining three another careful. question. Okay. What's the short term goal you plan on accomplishing in the next few years? Start over here. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm zoned out. A short term out. goal of mine would definitely be ownership, ownership of houses, cars, just having that stability. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any ownership right now at the moment? As of right now, just a car. But, okay. Uh, mainly, I want to invest in real estate. Okay, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, over here, your answer. Um, I would say um, being a property owner, I'm currently in the process of that right now. Um, I got my like loan situation already figured out. Um, I've been on that, how, look for houses um, in my area. And so just trying to figure out um, what property I want to get now for like rental uh, properties and stuff. Okay, is it like a small property, like a home duplex? What, what, what um, talking, single I home? Wanna, yeah, kind of like a home. I kind of want to like aim towards more like lower income people and like have nice house uh houses so they can you know live in mm -hmm. <laughs> but um yeah definitely like rental properties that's my okay. next goal that's perfect i love it and over here if you want to answer this question um so i want to scale my businesses i have two businesses currently one is a digital marketing business the other is a vending machine business that i just started so i want to be able to create more passive income so that i can free up my time and do more things that i love to do Okay, how many uh, school uh, vending machines do you have? Two. Two? Okay, mm -hmm. that's perfect. That's, I that's just one. started, literally. Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, that's lovely. I want to get into it, too. Like, really? That's, yeah, that's my plan. Got the name and everything. Uh -oh. Period. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is time to pop a balloon. Uh -oh. pop a balloon. Yes, sir. Pop the tall Damn. <sighs> you going to pop the tall one, man. Okay. Get so, Renee, here. why did we have our balloon unpopped? I think you're very handsome, very well-spoken. You seem intelligent. He's not your mm -hmm. height. Thank you, thank um, you. You're I think, I mean, she's definitely gorgeous. I love the white. I love it. Thank uh, the you. necklace and everything, too. <laughs> um, but I just feel like the other two questions, you know, the, I yes. firmly, yeah, the answers was great. Okay. Just feel like, you know, both was real estate, but, you know, properties and stuff. But, you know, one was stronger than the other one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, as well. All right. Let's open it up to the ladies. Any questions for him? You do? Okay. Do you have children? I don't have any kids. Okay. Um, so how would your like friends and family describe you and like your personality? Um, I would say my personality is um, caring, um, very um, motivating, inspiring. Um, that's what I kind of live my life based off of. Motivating and inspiring is always like my kind of passion for me. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got one more question. Yeah, go for it. Um, I know this is cliche, but like, are you a 50-50 guy? What you mean by that? Can you explain more? Yes. Like, moving into like marriage, you're like, yeah, you take 50% of the bills. I take 50% of the bills or that No, I think the man should take majority of the bills, like take a majority of the work. But I mean, if a woman wants to, you know, work and continue to, you know, have income for herself as well. Nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like, you know, a man should take majority of the work, you know, bills and all that. You know, let the woman relax and, you know, do what she needs to do. But and you know, still just take care of family. Too. Yeah, family and stuff as well. But I think, you know, her income is you know, be helpful as well. But, you know, the man should take care of most of the responsibilities and work too okay. and help out as well. So okay. yeah. Right. I don't know if I like that answer. Okay. So. Oh all right. Why did we end up popping? Um I think I would just say, you said like the the man should take more of like the bills and stuff. Um, I wouldn't say I'm 50-50, um, but I feel like if you would have been like um, both incomes and like we build together and like that kind of thing, then rather just saying like, yeah, the, the man should take care of majority of the bills. Um, yeah, go ahead. I mean, the man should take care of, you know, majority of the bills. But yeah. I'm saying if it's, you know, if we align the 50-50, then that is what it is. But I just feel like um, 
a man should take you know care of more of his mm -hmm. more, more of the responsibilities but both incomes is great that's that's yeah, what i said yeah, your I'm, income will be great you know to bring in too as well but i'm just saying like a man should have that you know responsibility yeah. to take care of you know majority of the work you know let that stress off a woman especially if she's doing anything taking care of the house and everything like that so you mm -hmm. know that ease the stress off you know her okay okay yeah <laughs> All right. Any final questions between the two of you? Yes. Where are you currently? Like, where do you live? I'm currently in Las Vegas. It's popped, but we do thank you so much for coming thank on. You. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Take this. Thank you. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen.